Welcome to the channel. Today, I have a Uniden R7 radar detector that I do plan to install in my 2021 Camaro ZL1, but the focus for now will be actually updating the firmware and the database for the radar detector. I'm gonna go ahead and walk through the whole process of what you need to do to get everything updated to the latest version out there. And uh, when you do order one of these, you receive this uh, standard cardboard box, but inside is a relatively nice padded uh, protective case of some sort. And inside of the case, you'll have a few things in here, namely the radar detector and another small sleeved case. And then of course you get your random accessories and some plugs and stuff like that. So what we need here is the actual radar detector inside the sleeved case and uh, throw that out here and uh, standard unit in or seven radar detector and um, yeah we're gonna go ahead and get this thing ready to go over to the computer and then we'll dive in the process of actually uh, getting this thing updated head on over to the unit in radar detector support site the uh, link here at the top and to start off you're going to download the R series uh, software download tool and once downloaded you will extract it and once extracted go ahead and install it and choose a location that is convenient for you. And your screen might kind of fritz out for a second while it's installed, but it should say installation complete. Go ahead and grab the red light camera database file, followed by the USB driver so that you can plug in your radar detector and have your computer recognize it and talk to it correctly. And go ahead and be sure to extract everything uh, when you download them because they will all be a compressed zip file. Once you extract the USB driver, you're going to go ahead and execute the one appropriate for your computer. I went with the 64-bit and it takes about a second to install. Once installed, we'll go ahead and uh, extract the R7 firmware or whatever your radar detector is. Make sure you have a .bin file. And then we'll go ahead and launch the download tool. Be sure to, uh, at this stage, go ahead and plug in the radar detector to your computer. It's going to be a micro USB on the radar detector and a standard USB at your computer. Go ahead and uh, click on the auto connect and it should pop up telling you what firmware and red light database file is currently loaded on your radar detector. Go ahead and click on open and you're going to select where you downloaded your firmware software, which is the .bin file, select it. And be sure to select recovery mode and hit the start to download. This does take a while, so uh, I'm going to speed this up real quick.
and it should say download complete if you have no errors and the firmware version right here should update to show your current firmware version that you just updated to next be sure to extract the database zip also will be a dot bin file you'll go ahead and open that up the same way you did the firmware select it and uh, then go ahead and uh, hit uh, start download do not select the recovery mode for the database file this one's real quick should say download completed and it should also update the uh, date of the database file and there we have it done firmware and the database has been updated on your you did in r7 and uh, that should about wrap it up so thanks for stopping by be sure to like subscribe and feel free to comment and uh, hopefully i'll be putting out some more videos peace